My name's Ron, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on encoding with me GUI. Uh, I'm going to be encoding in X264 uh, today, and uh, basically, Ajax's encoder, which some of you may be familiar with, it's um, basically when you upload it to YouTube, when you upload your final um, rendered project to YouTube, um, it will duplicate the length and it will uh, basically lag out, which I had to learn the hard way. I don't know if Ajax is aware of this, but either way I've had to move on to something else and uh, now I use MeGUI, which is apparently what all the COD4 producers use. And I've come to learn that it's a lot more expandable, but a bit more complex. So this is just a tutorial to get you into it. And uh, it won't be anything advanced, it'll just be how to encode your first video and uh, how to get it up on YouTube. But uh, before I jump into the tutorial, I want to show you guys a services page that we've been working on. Now, as of now, this isn't live, but by the time you're watching this, it probably will be. Uh, basically, it's a service page of uh, different services we offer, um, which will be quite exciting to see how that gets along. But uh, anyway, back to the tutorial. Uh, in the description, you'll find a link to download MeGUI, and uh, you want to click the download button, obviously, and uh, save it to uh, anywhere you want, really. And basically, once that's done, extract it to your desktop, and... Um, open it up. First of all we want to install AVI Synth so double click on that and run through the installation. You don't really need to change anything unless you want to change the install path. Next is the MeGUI setup. Run through that. And uh, now at this point you want to go to where you installed it which in my case is program files and uh, you want to find the MeGUI folder which is right here. And now you want to take these three codecs and copy and paste them into the directory so it should look like this now we're done with this folder we can go ahead and um, oops we can go ahead and go back to me GUI my bad for closing it and uh, just create a shortcut or send to desktop and that way we have a shortcut to work with so we want to open me GUI and um, basically it'll ask us to update for the first time and we want to do that to get our um, presets so basically I don't want to keep you waiting through this updating so uh, I'll be back when it's done okay once you get to this screen you'll want to uh, tick a couple of boxes and uh, these are the presets for um, our videos basically it's the presets to render or encode if you will so just go ahead and select all the unrestricted codecs and hit import now another screen will pop up this is for our audio and we want to choose Nero AAC uh, yada 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 multi-channel HQ 256 and import now this next is for XVID we're not going to be covering XVID so just click cancel and cancel again in order to finish blah 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 needs to restart click yes it won't restart your computer just the application and uh, now once it gets back up it'll ask you to install more updates and you want to do that and uh, basically after this is done you don't need to start you don't need to restart the program you just close it out now with this done I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cover how to render out of Vegas and um, basically pop it in there so we can render something so um, pop into Vegas and uh, I've just got a quick clip of Doctor Who here and uh, you want to render to your desktop in a AVI or anywhere really it doesn't matter where you render to go to custom in audio uh, uncheck include audio and um, the default settings default template is fine just make sure to uncheck include audio and I'll name this final and we'll start to render now I'll be back when it's done okay now with it rendered we want to go ahead and export our audio as well so if we go to render again and we choose wave we'll name this final dot wave and basically make sure it's 44 dash 100 16 and stereo this is very important otherwise it will not encode your audio and uh, it'll be kind of messed up and your head will probably implode so I don't suggest doing that that was very lame but okay um, basically we want to go back to me GUI now and go to tools AVS script creator and uh, once we're in here we want to choose our video input which is our video file which we have made which is the final.avi 
and it'll pop up with this preview just close that out check this uh, clever TM and morphic encoding and um, basically click save and it'll pop up again which is kind of annoying but with me uh, basically under encoder settings we're going to choose insane uh, unrestricted and hit config and basically up here we want to choose automated two pass check the turbo and put the bit rate to 9500 or really 10,000 or anything really high um, remember the higher the bit, bit rate the uh, bigger the file size I prefer 9500 um, but that's just me so if you want to click OK now and uh, blah 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 now you want to click yes and um, basically now we can go ahead and uh, import our audio so we have our final dot wave put it in again in the encoder settings choose the preset now in this case we only have one and this one you should always use and that's this one the uh, 256 KBS and now we can click auto encode now this is where it gets a bit interesting we want to click no target size which is basically just telling us that we can go as big as possible with our file size giving us optimum quality and here we can select our final render which I will choose desktop and I'll just name it uh, Doctor Who click save click Q and uh, this you want to don't ask me again and you want to hit yes because this is a important script conversion and hit OK now we have to actually start rendering it if we go to our Q tab we have our four jobs here and basically we need a worker to handle this so we want to go to workers create new worker the name is fine and now we just highlight all of these slash uh, right click send to worker so worker one and now that we have it in our worker one we can just basically hit start and it will begin encoding our video now once this is done we'll have our final uh, encoded video with audio ready to upload to YouTube in a uh, very good quality and very low file size so I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial basically all you need to do now if you're new at this kind of thing is uh, upload to YouTube and it should look fine if you have any questions drop a comment or visit the forums artificialanimation.com slash forums um, there's a lot of helpful guys there that can help you out I'm just gonna go ahead and show you the file size as you can see it's 18 MB for a 15 second clip and that's because the bit rate was so high but yeah as I was saying hope you enjoyed and really if you have any questions you should go to uh, forums and uh, they'll help you out so yeah uh, whoops. that's about it and uh, I'll see you next time